Hello everybody, my name is Mr. Craven, and welcome to A Spider to the Fly. Yeah. This reminds me of the things in Bloodborne and Elden Ring that, like, sing to you and build up your madness meter. Yeah, I'm like, uh, gotta find you, gotta kill you really quick. Yeah. A Spider to the Fly. Or a Spider to a Fly. Uh, 90s horror-inspired point-and-click. A dark and emotional journey of a man looking for his missing son while facing his hidden demons. Enjoy an atmospheric and stylized world, haunting and memorable audio, and piece together a story that will stay with you long after it ends. Yeah, I'll have a link in the description if you want to check it out. Uh, the dev actually reached out to me and asked if I wanted to check it out, and I said yes, of course, and he sent me a key on Keymailer. Thanks so much. Uh, yeah, let's just jump right in. I haven't played a point-and-click horror game in quite a while. Starting off an elevator sequence. If you don't have an elevator, a bathroom, or a vent sequence in your game, then you didn't make a horror game. <laughs> hey, buddy. You can see his little ankles. Scandalous. I like the style. And so from the screenshots, it looks like there is kind of like a like a thick fog over some of it. So I'll have to play around with the settings to make sure you all can see it. Yeah, let me do this really quick. Filters, let's do, can I add to the brightness? Whoa, not like that. All right, let's go back to zero. So this is what it looks like to me. So I'll leave it here for y'all, just to brighten it a little bit. Yeah, cool. I've been playing so much Elden Ring with the Seamless Co-op and Convergence mod. Cinemate Studios presents. So that intro really reminded me of either in Bloodborne, the creepy brain things that sing to you and give you madness. Also reminds me of the the harpies that sing to you. Bark. Dog. Orf, orf, orf. Yeah, I think y'all can see all right. Maybe, maybe a little bit too bright. Let me do one more thing. Sorry. I know I keep fussing with this. I just, I just want to make sure you all can see it for the rest of the game. There we go. I think that's a good happy in between. A spider to a fly. Oh. See, so yeah, there's a hand. That means I can interact with it. Got it. It's locked. Oh shit. Your inventory is located at the top of the screen. Mouse over to view your items. Okay. Left click and drag items to use them in the world. Okay. Oh, up here. Okay. House and card keys. Okay. Boop. You used your house keys. Oh yeah, this looks great. Right click to examine items and objects. Eye icon. Okay. It's the kitchen. Can I examine your cute little ankles? <laughs> Scandalous. Your wallet is missing. All right? Sam's room is up there. Let's go to the kitchen. Damn, they have a nice coffee maker. It's like an espresso machine. And there's nothing in there. Okay. A coffee machine. Sam, he already ate. Okay, I think that's everything I'm going to examine in here. Want to make yourself coffee? Yeah, I like this style a lot. It's very moody. Okay, let's go upstairs. Check on Sam. Sam. 
Sam? Uh, one for Sam. One for sleepovers. So I can click the bear. It's... His backpack is missing. Nice. He has his own little AC unit in there. Lucky. Sam's comics. Dot, dot, dot. Okay. I'm going to guess Sam is dead. That's my initial hunch. Oh no, the madness. Oh shit. I'm in a saw trap. Act one. That is a, a body yadi. I can't examine you. This looks great. It's like I'm walking around in a painting. You can't reach. Try looking around. Okay. Now I can look at this body. A corpse of a headless woman. The remains of a large man. You could use this. What? Move the body? Yes. That's fucked. That's fucked. You break off a loose pipe from the ladder. You got broken pipe. <laughs> a pretty sturdy looking pipe with a hook end? Oh, a hooked end. Okay. So I stand on the corpse. Uh... Standing on the corpse, you reach up with the pipe. You drop the broken pipe as you climb. There's no going back. Oh, there's actually two ways. Let's go right. Some kind of mold. Dot, dot, dot. I can touch it. Last time we touched something, it... Uh, sent us away. So let's... Go... Up here first, just to take a look around. And the game's called A Spider to a Fly. So touching a spider web, I feel like, would do something. This looks great. This also reminds me a lot of the cat lady. An old rusty train. Interesting. Okay, so I can't do anything here yet. So I guess let's go back and touch that spider web. I keep thinking I see something right here, but I know there's nothing. Boink. A woman's severed head sits atop a large, thick web. You can't get past the webs. So that's the head of the woman that's downstairs? Okay, so... Yeah, you can actually see more than I can. Lucky. 
Yeah, can't go down there again. Alright, let's get back to the train. Oh, I can just, I can keep walking this way. <laughs> Ooh, when the train's car is open. Let's go and hop in. There's a knife here and a newspaper here. Let's read this. An old newspaper. Central Line East closed after fatal accident. A tragic accident occurred late last night on the Central Line East service. A young homeless man was hit by a train while he was making his way up the tunnel towards the nearby maintenance passage. Likely looking for a warm place to stay, the man suddenly uh, was suddenly surprised by the speeding train and was unable to move in time. Some of the passengers have blamed the driver saying the train was going much faster than normal, possibly to make up lost time from an earlier delay. Some other passengers instead claimed the driver was drunk, likely unaware of the speed the train was traveling. The driver was unavailable for comment. Damn. Picked up knife. Looks pretty sharp. Dot, dot, dot. Okay. So this is the exit. It's locked. Okay. Uh, some kind of mold? Yeah, more mold. I wonder if I can cut the spider web with the knife. Because there has to be something I can do with that severed head. Somebody moving furniture? <laughs> One thing I need to worry about is that the game doesn't capture mouse. And so I need to make sure that whenever I'm clicking over here, I don't go off screen and click on OBS. You cut the thick webs. Ew. There's something in the mouth. You take train key. Yuck. Okay, let's get back up there. I'm glad I was right about that, not just wasting time. No, oh, these empty passageways are so creepy. And then, before we use the train key, I want to see what's in the next screen. It's too dark. Okay. Then I will hop in. Gross. Use the train key. So now we're on the other side. So I can go that way and that way. I guess let's go this way. Something's coming. Um never mind, let's go this way. Oh! Well, game over. <laughs> I guess I was supposed to get just clobbered by that train. Absolutely smushed. Okay. Oh no, the madness. Ian. 
I can't do this anymore. Who's Ian? I've tried to help you. So Sam's the name of his son. But I don't know what else to do. Think of your son, Ian. Oh, is am I Ian? Is he talking in third person? Do you even care? Ian, are you even listening to me? Maybe like Ian's his partner? Or Ian, I just I Maybe Ian is Sam's father and we're looking after him? I'm leaving you, Ian. I think I'm Ian, and somebody's talking to me. Like the wife is leaving. I... I don't love you anymore. Damn. Ferris wheel? <laughs> Happy land? <laughs> Dot, dot, dot. Act two. Sick. Look at the car first before I go into Happy Land. More like Crappy Land, am I right? A banged up car. Dot, dot, dot. Sam's favorite ride. Happy Land. What a mess. Okay, I think that's all I can look at out here. Uh, the turnstile is closed. A slot for coins sit on the side. Sam? <laughs> you spot something by the car. Oh! Was that there before? A child, a child's backpack. The label inside says Sam. There's some items in the bag. You take your wallet. Did Sam take my take my wallet? <laughs> take a lighter. Sam, why do you have a why do you have a lighter? You can examine items by using the right mouse button on them in the overhead menu. Okay. Uh oh, backpack's gone. Hmm. An old lighter. It was hers. Yeah, so that scene before had to have been the wife talking to us, and our name is Ian. It's your wallet. A few coins and a photo are inside. <laughs> you you took the coins. I love the assets, how they're so pixelated. The photo is broken. Hmm. All right, well, let's get into crappy land. You use the coins. The turnstile is open. Okay. Oh, I was like, what's this glowing red light on me? Looks like there's look like there's still power. 
the wheel. And there's a way to go here. This is back out. I believe. Let's test. Yes. Okay. Let's... Because I can't examine what this is. Let's see what is over here. Newspaper. An old newspaper. Damn, this looks really good. I like I like this super pixelated style. Local fair condemned. Happy Land has shut its doors forever after it was condemned following the tragic deaths of four young boys. The local communities have given their thoughts and prayers, <laughs> thoughts and prayers, to the families and are holding a vigil outside the park gates tomorrow. Since the carousel broke down and caused the incident, expert... Oh, okay. No, that's a... That's... Carousel is a spinny round thing, not this way, right? Uh, and caused the incident, experts had later found that other rides were also grossly under-maintained. The park was condemned the same day, shortly following the inspection. So there's a door here, door there. Let's go left. This might be the entrance. The exit. It says staff office. It's locked. Okay. More trash. Mixed with the strange mold. I'll make sure I'm not missing anything. Oh, I hate that sound. A giant spooter. Male toilets. It's locked. Female toilets. It's locked. The music gives me like Silent Hill vibes for sure. Uh, electronic blind. It's closed. Okay. So I think I might have to turn around now. There's red and right here. Did I come from this way? I did. Let's get back in there. Let's go to the red room. Can I use lighter on myself so I can so I can see? Picked up the arcade key. Okay, sick. It's red. Sure is. <laughs> so, capital I T H and N. So is is it Ethan? <laughs> no. Okay. Well, fuck me then. Damn. I don't think I've had <laughs> a character in a point and click game just straight up say no. Uh uh. <laughs> so I got the arcade key. Let's keep looking around over here. Damn. I love this perspective. General store. Okay. So I can go. Back down this way is where I came from. This is another area. Damn. Oh, I thought this was a bar for a second. Sweets, crisps, <laughs> and various items for the home. Oh, there's a glowing key here. Tea and cake is also served. I love crisps. What Americans are called chips. You picked up the office key. Sick. What's this? You picked up the token. Oh, so I can probably use that in the arcade. Okay. Let's 
I think that's all I can do in here. Damn. Thumbnail? Wait, 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 why did, why did it zoom in over that way? Hold up. Okay, I, okay, nothing over there. I just want to be sure. Because I, I feel like whenever it zooms in, it usually either zooms in on where I'm going. I could be wrong. Food court. Hell yeah. More trash and mold, I guess. Locked. Okay. Oh, ew. It's a control booth for the carousel. That is no power. The control booth is missing a fuse. Okay, so I gotta find a fuse to turn the carousel on. So I can go back towards the the booth, or the, not booth, the food court, or I can go up towards this green, or I can go this way. Right now I'm just kind of exploring the layout of this place. Okay, so this took me back out here. So let's go back and see what goes up towards the green. Yeah, the carousel's back behind that spider, which is disgusting. I'm such an arachnophobiac. Blech. Picked up token. Sick. Trash. Bumper carts. <laughs> Please let me play with the bumper carts. Please. Please. There's a chain on the door. It's locked tight. All right. Uh. Sam. Okay. So I gotta get in there somehow. And we... We have tokens. So let's go to the arcade. Hopefully that's open. I might have to go to the staff room to get the keys. Yeah, because this looks shuttered. Yeah, the shutter is down. There's a padlock at the bottom. Okay. And this is different than this. So let's go check out this red. A gift shop. It's locked. Okay, let's go this way and go into the staff room. I gotta get some keys in there, I bet. Uh, office key? Oh wait, I have the arcade key. You use the office key. Yeah, so I, I, already, I forgot I already had the arcade key. Picked up food court key. It's broken. What is it? There's something in the drawer. It's stuck fast. You could pry it open with something. Knife? Oh, I don't have the knife anymore. Okay, so let's come back whenever I have something in which to pry. Yeah, now let's go open the arcade. Use the arcade key on the padlock. The shutter rattled open, but jammed halfway. You can crawl under now. Okay. Uh, 
Uh, space dead. Like dead space? Mystery lucky grab. There's a token slot, but it is locked. Huh. Okay. What's this one? Quiet hills. <laughs> Evil house. And last but not least, a factory for sheep. Huh. Enthusiasts, checked all arcade games. Hell yeah. All right, let's check you. Madam Fortune. The token slot is open. The machine kicks into action. The animated woman holds up a dusty glass ball and speaks. One summer's day, four horses raced. The carousel. To see who could get ahead. But in the end, none of them could. And now, they four are dead. Yeah, talking about the accent in the carousel. Something unlocked. Oh, it's a lucky... Yeah, let's try you. Boop. You use the lucky token. Something falls inside the machine. You pull free a broken, soft mass from the prize slot. You took the horse head, Joy. Uh, you can examine the item. Yeah. So let's. A bloody horse's head. It looks like it's smiling. There's something sticking out of its eye. You took the toilet key. Female. Huh. Okay. Let's go back to the toilets and do that. And then we can work our way through again and go to the food court. I'll eventually probably need to find the mail key as well. Ugh. Gross. Hi! A strange clown. He's wearing a train driver's uniform. So this is... The clown is representative of... Uh, the train driver that killed the homeless guy. I guess I'm the clown. I'm the clown. You're the clown. We're the clown. This clown... He needs a strong drink. I couldn't break my chain. Because I am the clown. Yeah. But get me a drink and I'll help you break your chain. I am the clown. Okay. I think this is the female toilet. Use the toilet key F. It's unlocked. Every horror game needs a bathroom sequence. So we've already got an elevator and we have a bathroom. Perfect. Dot, dot, dot. That smell. <laughs> oh, wow. Ah, oh, Jesus, smells so bad. A set of keys. You took the house keys. Okay, I can't examine anything in here. All right, Mr. Clown. I'll be back in a bit. See you later. 
Uh, this is the general store. And then over here is the food court. So let's pop in there. Maybe I can get something to drink in the food court. Use the food court key. Oh, fuck. Why am I in the kitchen? Oh, fuck. Why is there a knife? You took the knife. So I can exit out this way. I can also go bed, room. No. No. My bad dad that killed my family. I feel like I'm a bad dad that kills the family and like every other horror game that I play. <laughs> As you walk back outside, you take in the cool night air. You look back down at it, at the item gripped tightly in your trembling hand. You have a screwdriver. It was a screwdriver. So he thought he grabbed a knife from a kitchen, but he grabbed a screwdriver. So now I can probably take the screwdriver I go back in there? You can't go back. I can probably take the screwdriver to the staff room and pry that open. Let's go out this way. Um, also, was there something locked in here? Uh, electric blind. It's closed. And then I can't go in here. And this all seems like the exit down bottom. So like, this won't work. All right. Let's get out of here. Hey, buddy. Don't worry, I'll get your old your juice. <laughs> This screen creeps me out. All right, let's get back to the staff room and pry that desk drawer open. You wedge the screwdriver into the gap. You managed to pry loose the drawer or the draw. You took the broken phone. Seems to have power. But no SIM card. Okay. What? So I gotta find a SIM card for the phone. I have a screwdriver, house keys, and a lighter. set of house keys. There's a digital card key attached. The LED is flashing. There must be a car nearby. Uh, the only car I've seen is the one out front where we got the backpack. So I guess let's head out there again. That's the only thing I can think of. Let's... You use the house and car keys. Perfect. The hood popped open. Amidst the crushed engine block, you find something of use. You took the broken fuse. There's something else lodged in the broken engine. You took the horse head, fear. A bloody horse's head. It looks scared. Huh. Okay, so now we have the fuse. I think that gets us into the bumper car area. 
So we've been to the arcade. And the gift shop is closed. Can't use that here. This won't work. Yeah, figured. Oh wait, the the Ugh, the fuse goes here, right? This won't work. The fuse is busted. Has no power. Is missing a fuse. A broken fuse. Maybe you can fix it. Sometimes you can use items on other items within your inventory to... Oh, okay. So let's get this onto you. You use the screwdriver. I'm just tinkering with the fuse. <laughs> you have a fixed fuse. Okay. Now let's... Boop, boop. You use the fixed fuse. <laughs> With the power back on, the control booth lights uh the control booth lights up. You see a strange SIM card inside. Okay. You take the SIM card. There's a keypad here for the carousel. It needs a code to start up. Okay, so let's Boop, boop. You hear a faint signal, a voice lost amidst the static. Feed me, daddy. <laughs> Feed me. Where is it leading to? Food court? The static from the phone is louder here. Yeah, there's a glowing green thing here. There's a radioactive isotope. You look down, covering your face to stop from gagging on the smell. You kneel down and rummage around in the moldy trash. You took the toilet key, M. Sick. Let's go poke around in the bathroom some more. So I still need to find some booze for the clown. Uh, what else do I need to find? Need to find a use for the house key? Part of the... Also the lighter. Hmm. Yeah, do I need to use the house key on anything? It's unlocked. Because usually you have to use an item and it's done with its purpose. Oh, there's nothing in here. Oh, no! 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 There's blood everywhere. Well, at least he's not commenting on the smell. Oh, God. It's filled with blood. Man, there's something in there. <laughs> Reach in? No! Sorry, Sam. You gotta stay missing. What'd we find? You took the horse head to spare. A bloody horse's head. You can see the unbearable sadness in, a, sadness in its eyes. That's it? No. No. She cheated on you. Wait, is this the clown? She cheated on you, didn't she? I know that look on your face. You can't hide it from me. Maybe it was better off this way. don't 
love you anymore. Is that the wife? What is this? Is this? It looks like something going through broken glass. I can't right click on it. All right. Weird, my character is like not on. Oh, I'm up here. I'm super tiny. Oh, I'm walking onto this thing. <sighs> the final horse head is in their marital bed. Let's click on bathrooms, it's gonna say no. No! Ugh, fuck. Please. Dot dot dot. Red. So, he finds out his wife is cheating on him. And also going to leave him, I guess? Because she told him she didn't love him. And so I bet he kills the wife and he gets like gets so angry he sees red and then there was something with the car did he crash the car with the sun inside after the after that happened you take the horse head fury yep so angry he saw red there's something underneath it you take remote control Remote control with a LED. Label on the back says, window shutters. Okay, got it. A bloody horse's head. Its eyes are wide with hate, and there's a rotten foam around the mouth. So he says no to bathrooms. Let's, I guess, go and get out of here. I think we're a bad dad that kills the whole family. Where am I? Oh, I'm back in the rusty gross room. Oh, yeah, the audio in this is really good. It's very unsettling. Hey, buddy. You have anything else to say? He's going to ask me for liquor again. I am the clown. <laughs> okay. okay, let's use, oh, the light on the remote turned green. So let's boop, boop. You use the remote. The light on the remote fades. It's useless now. A little note here. A note is stuck to the wall. One, six, two. Got it. Um, I think that's all I can do in here. I wonder where I get the, the booze for the clown. Like, I can check back at the food court or the general store. Like, let me check over here on the screen, make sure I'm not missing anything. Cause y'all, y'all, it, it's a lot brighter on y'all's screen than it is for me. All right. Um. Yeah, sweets, crisps, and various items. Yeah, I think that's it. I don't think there's anything in here I can grab for the clown. See, the way it keeps focusing over there made me think that maybe there was something else. Hmm. 
So let's go to the food court one more time. Because last time we didn't actually go to the food court. We went to the kitchen. You can't go back. Okay. I guess I'll go to the carousel and turn that shit on. But I haven't found the clown his happy juice. You entered the code. It's gone. Oh, the spider? Yeah. <sighs> Alright. Let's go in here. So we have all four horses' heads. Oh, the, the horses are, like, impaled. I think the most iconic use of a carousel in video gaming is from The Last of Us DLC. Whenever Ellie and Riley are in that shopping mall and they ride the carousel. All right. Uh, the horse is jumping with joy, so let's go ahead and boop. Blech. What, then what's your deal? The house is, the the house. The horse is bowing, cowering in fear. All right? There you go. Thought I saw something with the mouse. There we go. Uh, the horse veins are popped. Its muscles tight with stress. So, Fury, there you go. And then, the horse is mid-fall, as if jumping from a great height. There you go. So I'm inside the mechanics of the carousel. Here's the exit. Yeah, I didn't see anything in here I can click on. So let's keep going. Ugh, fuck off. Gross. Gross. Mmm. Dot, dot, dot. Can I go over this way before I do that? Yeah, so that's the exit. Let's go up to that door. I might be able to use the house key on it and get something. I still gotta find that booze for the clown. It's locked. Okay. This won't work. What? What do you mean? Dot, dot, dot. Dot, dot, dot. This won't work. All right, I'll come back. And 162, that was the code to start the carousel, right? The fuck? <sighs> oh, 
a little purse. Please stop. Uh, trying to remember, clicked all the bad memories in red rooms. It's locked. I can try it again. This won't work. Twitchy ass mannequins. This was like a bar. Oh, here's a note. It's right below where I am, sorry. Act three. So wait. I never got to go to the bumper cars thing. I think you've had enough today, pal. Everyone's gone home. I'm closing up. Don't you have a kid at home? Okay, fine. Just take the damn thing. But go on home. Sleep it off. Before you go and do something stupid. You took the whiskey bottle. I just wonder if I can go back and give it to the clown. Now, get out of here. There's a, yeah, there's a little note right below me. An old newspaper. Fatal car accident kills local dancer. A local dancer was killed on Saturday after driving in heavy rains. Police have started the car, uh, stated the car was speeding and the driver appeared to have lost control of the car. The car appears to have collided with a large sign and became jammed, forcing part of the sign through the car's windscreen. Oh. So, whenever I was walking upside down and there was something in that glass, that's what that is. It was also reported that despite the dancer's husband being notified, it was the dancer's colleague who came to identify and claim the body. And that's who our wife was cheating with. The family so far has refused or have refused to comment. Read all three newspapers. Sick. Damn. This looks really good. It's like dreamy. Uh, alright. How do I leave? Right here? Hey. It's not worth it. Think of your kid, man. Just go home. Damn. See, I'm back at the... Back at Happy Land. Buddy. Let's go give the clown his juice. Shit. It's not worth it. Okay, yeah, that's all I can click on. Happy land. What a mess. And then, yeah, the, I think the wheel says the same thing. Yeah, because I've used everything else. The only thing I have left to do is just give the clown his juice. His feel-good medicine. <laughs> hey, 
Hey, buddy. All right, drink your juice, Shelby. Ah! You found it! The answer to all my problems. The strange clown takes a long swig, gasping with satisfaction. Here, my end of the deal. Now you can break your chain. Took the rusty bolt cutters. Who's the clown now, eh? Is it me? <laughs> Am I the clown? Who's the fucking clown now? Am I the homeless person that dies? That gets hit by the train? He's gone. Like, homeless, but like... It's already made a, an allusion to me getting hit by a train. And the clown was obviously the driver. Yeah. So I wonder if we do something awful to our family. That, like, A, kill our wife, then B, get our son killed. Uh... And then just get drunk and go wander around in the subway and get flattened. And they think it was a homeless guy, but it, it was just us. Use the rusty bolt cutters. With a heavy grunt, you cut the chain, breaking the cutters in the process, of course. The door is open. All right. Bumper cards. Let's do it. <laughs> Please just write the bumper cards. <laughs> Don't be anything metaphorical. Oh, a Silent Hill hole. There's a hole here. A large hole, so deep you can't see the bottom. Peer inside? Yes. You can hear a voice from deep within. The thing that was coming through the windscreen was a pipe. So yeah, I think that this guy gets drunk. Picking yourself up from the rotten sludge beneath you, you wince in pain. Your leg, not broken, but painful. You need to get out of here. So I think the story is we find out our wife is cheating slash leaving us. Then we get drunk, go home, kill the wife, put the son in the car, get into an accident, and then get run over as we flee the scene. It's her car. There's a headless body inside. Oh, wait. Maybe he put her in the car. There's a dead body inside. She's holding a handbag. You look inside. You took the lipstick. You took the cigarettes. You took the phone. The phone is the one we used earlier. And also, I wonder if some of these assets were AI generated, because like this vent is blending in with the bricks in a certain way, and then the bricks right here kind of morph into something. 
A green light is coming from scratches between the bricks. You can trace the marks with your finger. Lipstick it? <laughs> you trace the scratches with the lipstick! Yeah! I was just guessing. It draws a door. Uh, what's over here? It's just a wall. There's no way through. It looks like a door. It's missing something. This won't work. Okay, and I can't... Uh, oops. Instead of house keys, yeah. Digital car key attached. I wonder if I can use the... Oh, the LED is flashing. There must be a card nearby. So I can use this on this. Maybe not. Uh, let's see. Lighter on cigarettes? I don't smoke. <laughs> Achievement, you don't smoke. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's see. Oh. Uh, it works. There's some text messages here. Oh, the madness chant. Hey, can I see you again tonight? I really enjoyed our date. I can't tonight. I think he's... Oh, wait. Uh, I can't tonight. I think he's getting suspicious. I'm sorry. Let's wait till he's passed out. Drunk fool won't even notice you're gone. I don't know. It was just drinks. I don't know if I can do this. Just drinks. I can still smell you on my shirt. Come over to my place. We can have some privacy this time. And then a little winking face. Okay, I'll be there. Good. Don't keep me waiting. There's a picture message. Hey, guess where I am? Get your little butt in here now. Yeah, that's that 162 I kept seeing. One six two. Oh, draw one six two onto the door. <clears throat> you draw the numbers from the picture. And now we can go through it. Clever. is it? I want I want I want to see what it is. Oh, hello. That's a big old hand. Oh, she's going to squash me. Escape your nightmare. You catch your uh, breath in gasps as your heart thumps in your chest. You close your eyes and clear your mind of the horror behind you. It's time to push forward. No, t no more time to waste. There's no sign on this building.
The door plaque says, House of Mirrors. Oh, sick. The mirrors. They glow red. Let's see what the back thing here looks like. It looks infinite. The mirrors go on and on. Okay, um, let's start with the front right one. So we are behind a grate. Looking in. Some kind of animal cage. The cage door is locked. There's something inside. Okay, so you go out here. It won't open. This won't work. Alright. I thought it was going to be the symbolic and be like, we are the animal and our house key is opening the cage or something. Okay, let's go this way. Are you the guy that was sleeping with my wife? Oh, and there's a noose above him. Interesting. Hey, buddy. I gave up smoking for years. But we both started again together. The stress of the job, you know? i never seen anyone dance like that before. The way her body moved. It drove me wild. I don't regret it, but we did. And I'm not sorry. But I need just one last gasp before I go to her. Just one last gasp. There you go. You gave him the cigarettes in the later. Hey, I... Thanks. Just one last gasp. Do it. Do it. All right. Later, dude. So if I go back in, is he... Okay, he's still... He's still chilling. All right. I thought he was going to be just swinging. Fuck, bro. Is he, did he do it? Sure did. There's something in his pocket. You take the wedding ring. Damn. Alright, uh, so we know that we need to open up the animal cage in this one, so let's go here. What is this? You take the sledgehammer. Okay. It's filled with blood. He never wanted to go into the bathroom. And that once we get to the bedroom and we find the horse head, he wouldn't let us go to the bathroom. <coughs> 
So I wonder if... Sorry, I'm trying to piece it together as we go. I wonder if we get drunk, go home, kill the wife in the bathtub, put her body in the car with us, Yeah, and then we crash, and then she gets mangled. <sighs> Plunging us right into the bathtub. Blech. Hello. I put the wedding ring on you, don't I? The fingers are like bone. Here you go. Use the wedding ring. As you slip the ring onto the mannequin's bony finger, the fingertip breaks off in your hand. Blech. You take the bone finger. It looks like a key. A skeleton key, if you will. Dot, dot, dot. It looks like a key. Yep. All right, see ya. It quickly turned to look at us as we left. Ugh. So we probably use the key on this cage, but I want to try this as well. Sledgehammer on door? No. Okay. All right. Bone finger on cage. You use the bone finger. You unlock the cage door and reach inside. You take the gift shop key. So we are going back to... The, uh... Nope. I didn't do that. So we are going back to Happy Land. Alright. I wonder if I use the sledgehammer to escape. A car? Oh, is this like, is this the bumper car? The mirror, it shows a car. It's just glass. So let's break it. You lift the sledgehammer above your head. There's a hole in the glass. So we escape the House of Mirrors. That smell. The bathroom again. Oh, yeah, I was ugh. Yeah, I was in the the toilet. The stinky, stinky toilet. So let's go back out this way. Go past all the rust. Yeah, you know, the garbage and mold. So I think the last item we have to use is the gift shop key. Okay. It's unlocked. some stuffed animals. Oh, in the beginning, didn't I grab a bear? Pick up bear? Yes. <laughs> you picked up Sam's teddy bear. This is where you bought him. Sam's bear. Sam. Smack. So, what did we do with Sam? What happened to the kid? So, like, either we kill the wife and put her in the car and crash.
or yeah because the newspaper said that they found a body of a dancer who was mangled in a car crash and her colleague the one that she was sleeping with came to identify the body i'm pretty sure we are the the homeless guy that gets hit by the train so yeah where's sam and all this it's locked oh there you go you use your house keys Yeah, kitchen. Let's check that out first. How's Sam doing? I worry for him, you know. I know what you mean. Do you think child services might get involved? Damn, so like... God, I hope so. Ian can't look after him by himself. He's not fit to raise the boy. Oh, hey Sam, what are you doing up this late, sweetie? Dad. Please don't get mad. I just... I want to go back there. The last place I remember we were happy together. Did he take Sam to Happy Land and he's one of the kids that died? I took your wallet and mom's keys. I'll be back soon, I promise. I love you both. There's another key in the bag. Took the apartment key. It's too dark. Oh. Okay, I guess we go out this way. Wait, I already have Sam's bear. What is this? I can't believe she's gone. Her career was just beginning to get off the ground since she met James. James was the dancer. He's devastated, I hear. They were very close. Oh, I bet they were. I heard they were a little more than close, you know. <laughs> Damn. Shh. What if Ian hears you? Oh, right. Like, he can even hear me uh, passed out on the couch like that. Drunken fool. Give the guy a break. He's been going through a lot since the train accident. What train accident? Were we the train driver? No, he's always like this. I bet he has even noticed she's gone. It, like, it's just now clicking. Like, we could possibly be the train driver because the clown says he infers that we are the clown now. So are we the train driver that hit that guy and so he started drinking or drank even more heavily afterwards? And that drives the wife away? There's a bear, right? Daddy? Now the light's on up here. Sam? the animal cage. It's empty. 
You put the teddy bear in the cage. You hear a click, the sound of the door behind you unlocking. Oh yeah, so it's hinting that I go back this way, where we started. Yeah, the way the camera moved, it is indicating I go this way. I need to clean my monitor. I'm like <laughs> focusing so hard on this and it's so dark that all the dirt and grime on my monitor is reflecting. So that something on his jacket was popping off. Now he's auto walking. So the body of a large male that we stand on in the beginning, is that us? Oh, here, oh shit, the elevator sequence in the beginning. <sighs> Act four. That's us going to the apartment. Damn. Hey, guess where I am? Winking face. Get your little butt in here now. Come in. This way, beautiful. The madness chant. Oh, James. James is the name of the Silent Hill 2 protagonist, right? Or is that one? I always mix them up. I, I shouldn't do this, or I should be going. Laughter. Ah, fuck. Oh, James. You took the knife. Moans. Ah! James. Moans. Cause he doesn't kill the the guy. The guy like rec like comes to claim her body, right? Oh, shit. So he does kill him. Oh, 
Holy shit. Bro, you're fucked. Kill him. No. Okay. Shit, I thought he killed her in the bathtub. So he kills kills James. And then takes the wife, I'm assuming, or she tries to escape and crashes. Oh my god. Ah, oh, fuck. Caroline. The madness chant, no. <laughs> it's a big old spider web. Damn. Brutal. So where where's the kid in all this? Like, was he one of the kids that died in that newspaper article? Oh, there's something there I can grab. Yeah, there's like spider webs everywhere. Walking in the spider webs. You picked up your wallet. Ah. You check the photo in your wallet. Together at the fairground. This or, like, that chanting reminds me of the Temple of Time. <laughs> huh? Is that Sam?
Sam. Dad? Yeah, this is like a the amusement park, Happy Land. It's all dilapidated. And covered in the giant spider webs. stage where the mom danced, I'm assuming. Those the bumper cars? <laughs> the, <laughs> the clown. Ah, oh, it's disappearing. No! Again, more like crappy land. Damn. That was amazing. That was very, 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 very good. I'm like, I'm a little confused how the wife ended up in the car and got in that accident. Part of me thinks that it was the dad that was driving and then he flees the scene or something and that's when she gets because she was already at that point I'm also confused where the boy was the entire time like is he one of the kids that died at Happy Land yeah I'm like I'm a little I'm a little confused but it's really this was really good this was, I'm going to be thinking about this, like, like the, the description of the game said, I'm going to be thinking about this for a while afterwards. Yeah, I really enjoyed this. And the, the madness chants, every single time I heard it, I was like, woohoo. -hoo. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I thoroughly enjoyed this. The, it was very moody. The aesthetic of it was like, it seemed like there was like this layer of fog that was over everything because we're basically like playing through like his kind of like fears and memories I guess yeah and that bathroom scene oof 
Yeah, damn. Well, alright. Uh, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you have any recommendations for games I should cover, please let me know. I have a huge list already of games that I'm going to be checking out, uh, but I can always slot some more in. Um, damn, this was good. Yeah, uh, cool. Leave a like, it really helps. Uh, check out my Patreon. Me and my husband are going to be playing through the Dark Pictures Anthology here pretty soon. Uh, that's like the Man from Medan, or Man from Medin, uh, Little Hope, all those kind of games. Um, that's going to be going up on Patreon very soon. Uh, and you can also get your name in my credits, get some other exclusive content, etc, etc. And just really helps out the channel. Uh, leave a like. I think I already said that. <laughs> and yeah, I'll see you all next time. Bye. Oh!